In preparation for your return home next week, we have gone over a lot of information about how you can independently manage your diabetes, including how you'll monitor and control your blood sugar. Just so I'm able to know what you've heard from what we've discussed today, are you able to tell me why it's important to your health to manage your blood sugar levels? Well, lately I've been letting my blood sugar levels get too high, usually in the 20s. And when my blood sugar gets that high, it can damage my blood vessels and cause further health complications, such as to my eyes, heart, kidneys. I can even get a foot ulcer, which I definitely don't want. Very good. Yes, it is important to maintain control of your blood sugar levels to prevent these health complications from occurring. We also went over this handout called Diabetes and Your Diet, which talked about sugary food and beverage items to avoid or limit with diabetes in order for, to prevent your blood sugar from spiking too high. Are you able to tell me some of the food and beverage items that you remember from that list that you should limit from your diet? Well, pop is a big one. I need to stop drinking so much pop during the day. Uh, maybe uh, change to water when I'm thirsty. And I also need to stop snacking on sugary bakery goods, candy and ice cream, especially late at night. This will keep my blood sugar in a lower range. And I'll also have to monitor it throughout the day to make sure that it's not getting too high or even too low. Excellent. Those are all items that you should be limited in order to keep your blood sugar from spiking too high. I'm also glad you mentioned the need to monitor your levels throughout the day. Earlier in our meeting, we went over how to check your blood sugar levels on your own using the glucometer. Just to make sure I've told you the correct steps, are you able to tell me how you would test your blood sugar at home using these items? Well, first I'd use the lancet, prick my finger, wipe away the first droplet. With the glucometer, I would check the, the second uh, droplet for my blood sugar level. Very good, but don't forget to clean your finger first with the alcohol swab for 30 seconds and let the area dry for 15 before pricking your skin with the lancet. It is important to clean your skin first to prevent any infection from occurring. Are you able to tell me the steps one more time with this piece of information? Oh, right, sorry, I've, it's been a while since I've done it on my own. Well, I'd use the alcohol swab to clean my skin for 30 seconds. Then I'd let it dry for 15 seconds. I'd take the lancet, prick my finger, wipe away the first droplet, and with the glucometer, check the second droplet for my sh blood sugar level. Yes, that was all correct. You seem to have a good understanding of how you'll manage your diabe diabetes independently at home. I've also prepared this package for you uh, to take home that contains all the information we went over today, so you can refer to them if you need to. Do you have any questions for me? No, I feel a lot better about our, our discussion today. Thanks for all your help.